This is an outdoor rocket mass heater where the exhaust travels in a ring to warm people's butts. This rocket mass heater replaces the ducting in the mass with half barrels. This makes it so that there's less mass. Less mass means that rather than holding the heat for days, it'll hold the heat for maybe an hour. This also means that it's going to warm butts even faster. Excuse me. I uh, have a general announcement to make. Sorry, it's quite inconvenient. We're running out of oil. There's computers, light bulbs, toothpaste, cat food, dog food, owl food, microwaves, umbrellas, blankets, glasses, crayons, fridges, pharmaceuticals, houses, trucks and boats and planes and clothes and roads and boats and shops and farms and Hurantes underpants. If we don't find the renewable resources like the sun, see, it has heaps of energy beaming down for free. Feeding plants and trees Make use of these kind of natural forces And use clean, renewable resources Why mine gas? Seems silly to me When you can make your own From the comfort of your throne With a methane digester Oh yeah! The future of energy is oh, all that white, that's just insulating material? Um, on top of here, this is Hardy Backer. Yeah. I can't see, so. Yeah. You're about centered, and there's plenty of room for the transition to each of your parts. Love it. Cool. And it looks nice. Okay. It sure does. That's awesome. Sweet. Yeah. I want one. You can have one, Andrew. So we're in the Ring of Fire, April 2016. You can see that some parts of it have held up better than others. Um, the fire is still doing its thing, pulling past that glass plate toward the heat riser. And that part's working pretty well. We've got the bypass shut, so we're charging up the bench a little bit with heat. The things that I think I would change if I was doing this again, um, I'd do a little bit more weather detailing. This is sitting through Montana winters. This is set through two winters now. And so you can see the earthen plaster doesn't hold up. Um, this open bench is picking up a lot of moisture like when it rains or snows it'll sit on there and it'll leak down in freeze thaw cycles there's one section where the outer um, joins on the outer cement board is kind of busted out and so I would be inclined to do something that was a little more resilient for outdoor detailing that means either a roof over the whole thing where the, the whole thing's just not getting wet as much and then you don't have as many issues with the freeze thaw thing uh, or maybe just a localized roof over this that, that still sheds water and sheds snow so that it's not building up and seeping down water into there. If you could keep the bench dry, then heating it up is a lot easier. And that, for something like this that you're going to use when you've got a party, having it dry and ready to go, I mean, he's already got fairly thin mass over the, the little half-barrel bells here. So having it dry and ready to go would mean you'd, you'd get a hot bench a lot quicker out of it than trying to dry it you know, steam evaporate it and then heat it up. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time.